if i square is equal to minus 1 then the sum i to the power of 1 plus i to the power of 2 plus i to the power of 3 plus i to the power of 4 and so on up to i to the power of 1000 up to 1000 terms is equal to so let us use the concept here since we know that i to the power of 4n is equal to 1 i to the power of 4n plus 1 is equal to i i to the power of 4n plus 2 is equal to i square that is minus 1 and i to the power of 4n plus 3 which is equal to minus i and if we add all these four consecutive powers that is i to the power of 4n plus i to the power of 4n plus 1 plus i to the power of 4n plus 2 plus i to the power of 4n plus 3 which is equal to plus 1 minus 1 plus i minus a the sum will be 0. So we can conclude that sum of any four consecutive powers of i is zero so we can write here i to the power of one plus i to the power of two plus i to the power of three plus i to the power of four this is a sum of four consecutive powers of i and similarly i power five plus i power six i power seven i power eight and so on even to the last term i to the power of uh, thing 97 98 997 i to the power of 998 plus i to the power of 999 plus i to the power of 1000 because 1000 is divisible by 4 so this 1000 will be divided into some equal parts so we can say this is 0 plus 0 plus and so on up to 0 so the finally the answer can be taken 0 so which is option d okay please like share subscribe and support us thank you